Okay, pre-game commentary. This is, I just joined the game. This is going to be, uh, I don't know how strong the Kraken is, but he's stage three. This is the final episode of Evacuation. I get to be the monster. And I'm going to possibly do some live commentary. We'll see how it goes. But I, I'm really anticipating this. I think the Hunters have won every game. From what I can tell, like I said, I just joined at the tail end of episode four. But I'm gonna have uh, AI Goliath helping me destroy the generators. This should be a blast. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Ever since I heard Turtle Rock announce and they did the live stream. So this should be good. I'll try to do no commentary unless I need to so you can hear the game.
I'll be quiet for the cutscene. We'll do it.
can't stop, won't stop. So, that was kind of close. But, you gotta remember who's playing the monster, alright? I know exactly what I'm doing. Alright? What more can I tell you? Just watch what I did. Play it smart. You can't lose. I this is probably my 60th game as hunter. I mean monster. And if you and if you actually watch the video, watch watch the, watch this video again. How many? Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! What is that? Uh, thirty thousand, forty, almost forty thousand damage. Forty thousand damage in just what? That was less than a regular match. I mean, that was like nine minutes, ten minutes. Some of my regular skirmish matches go on for like 22 minutes. So I did a colossal amount of damage. Look at that monster damage. I mean, just insane. Hunters killed 10. I killed them 10 times. I killed the whole team almost three times over. And that's not counting how many times I downed them, you know? This is great. I, I love this. I love this game. There's nothing else like it. Thank God for Turtle Rock making this game. Such a breath of fresh air. I'm so sick of Call of Duty and Battlefield. Now, I'm sure that there are a lot of people out there who are sick of Call of Duty and Battlefield and Halo and Destiny and all the other crap that's going on. They're sick of unfinished, laggy, broken games that take months and months to get fixed. I don't lag on this game. There's been a couple of very minor glitches that are really nothing to worry about. They don't stop me from playing. They're not game-breaking. And look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next video.